Hi guys, Yanis here from Scan Heating, and uh, today we will do the sequence of operation on a gas and LPG boiler, computer system boiler. This is uh, an engineering thinking course. I would like to introduce you a little bit so how the boiler works, what's the steps to follow before fires up, and um, definitely this one is going to give you a map of the steps you have to check if you are face any problem. So let's dive in. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, ask you if you don't mind to like and subscribe the video. It's really important for me to leave a comment as well on the video, questions, concerns, or a little heart. Please helps a lot of uh, the algorithms in order this video to go to the majority of the people of you outside there. And please support me on this stage. Yanis here from Scan Heating. Let's dive into sequence of operation on a gas and LPG boiler. The first thing which happens is just to make sure we have power on the boiler. In order to do that, we need the multimeter. We just simple stand of the boiler. If we see any indication, if the boiler is quite new, definitely it's going to have an uh, LCD or even smart uh, screen and let us if it's on or standby, whatever. But there are some old boilers or commercial boilers, they don't have these facilities. So then we can go with the multimeter and check if we have the necessary power. If we confirm we have a power on the boiler and the boiler is in standby, then we have somehow to ask for demand. Easily we can turn the thermostat on or the domestic hot water on, or if it's combi boiler, open a hot tap and see what's happened. As long as we are confirmed we have a demand, then we have to hear the pump running. The circulation pump, system boiler and combi boiler, they have a pump inside. This pump is going to start to spinning around in order to check with this way the water pressure switch. If it's understand this uh, um, change of the, uh, the, the, the this this condition change, and also the thermistors that are arranged. For example, the thermistors they have to check. Uh, the sample of the temperature of the water and has to meet each other. In this case, then we go to the next step. Let's go a little bit more symbolic. Next step, next step, and then the fan start to run. When the fan start to run, it starts for a few seconds uh, in order to clean the chamber which we have the, the burner and the automatic pressure switch then go to initially is open and then go to the closed position and uh, checking we can if the, if the fan runs we receive voltage on the fan if if the fan is not running after this step then we have to check the voltage on the fan if we receive voltage or not if everything is okay then we go to the next step which is the APS close as uh, we mentioned the con the condition open getting closed now and the pressure switch uh, close and power the gas valve. We power the gas valve then and the ignition starts to running. So the same time when the, galve, uh, the gas valve open, the spark starts to running. With this way, we can confirm the APS is closed if that uh, confirm if it's okay and check the voltage on the gas valve. If, for example, the gas valve is not working, it's worth to check it if we have voltage. How many voltages? If it's DC, if it's AC, we can find all the, in the in manual uh, instructions or easily we can, if it's working day, we can call the technical support of each company and ask where I have to test, if it's DC, if it's AC and how much voltage I have to check. The other easy way to see if the gas valve operates, regardless if we have gas or not, because sometimes could be felt in the gas meter, could be empty the cylinders of LPG, or a lot of things, someone maybe switch off the lever outside, is to check, just to connect the, the U gates and see if we have any changes on the pressure. If this one is satisfactory as well, they go to the next step, which is the burner, ignition and rectification. A lot of boilers, they have a separate spark plug and separate flame rectification device or flame supervision device. Uh, straight away the gas boiler start to running, Dep depends the demand, if it's for heating, if it's for hot water. 
and the ignition ignite the gas and then start the rectification and then the modulation for example if we have the domestic hot water and we have two taps open the boiler is going to work ha much more harder to heat up the water if we have one tap open slightly then the boiler modulate and adjust the gas uh, valve and the speed of the fan on the temperature we like it and then in the end if we switch off the demand hot water or domestic sorry hot, domestic hot water or central heating the boiler has to come down if we if we are familiar with these steps then we can easily try to find where is the problem on the boiler trust me all those sequence of events personally i didn't know when i started and even now those days i can find a lot of engineers they don't really know all those details so it's worth to have a look at this one please take a screenshot keep that in mind or ask me to send you a pdf version uh, and i will and i'm more than happy to do that one more time check for the power or the boiler demand uh, confirm the demand if we demand hot water or heating first of all the pump start to work if everything is all right then go to the fan if the fan is all right and adjust the aps the air pressure switch if the pressure switch closed circuit then we have power to the gas valve and the ignition if the ignition ignite then the rectification of the flame supervision device um, understand we have fire and keep going the fire and in this case sometimes sometimes you see the boiler start up and then shut down because the rectification mechanism is gone sometimes the electrode sometimes the lead of the electrode the cable of the electrode sometimes the pcb a lot of things and then the burner modulate uh, uh, follow the demand the power follow the demand and then if we switch off again the demand the boiler has to sh shut down any questions again guys any concerns please don't hesitate send me an email send me a message and i will be more than happy to assist you thank you very much indeed yanis